please be sure to subscribe to the channel to update the fastest and most accurate news. Hello everyone, welcome back to my High Celebrities News Channel. The story for today is Gordon Ramsay has sold one of his lavish houses in Cornwall for £7. 5 million in what is believed to be the most expensive sale ever recorded in the Seaside County. The celebrity chef, 55, sold his Trebetherick abode for the staggering sum in March last year, according to land registry documents, the news comes two months after Gordon was slammed for saying he can't stand Cornish people. Gordon sold the property for £3.5 million more than he purchased it for in 2016, becoming the most expensive sale in Cornwall across 2021 while it is thought to be the priciest ever recorded in the county, Cornwall Live reported. Gordon has appeared with his daughter Tilly, 20, on this morning standing outside the luxurious property as he spent time there with his family during the COVID-19 lockdown in 2020. He caused fury with locals at the time for relocating to the property despite the government urging Britons not to travel, sources said he was also seen out and about in Rock, Foy, Port Isaac and Newquay, some distance from his home. In 2019, he was given planning permission to build an Inuit-style log cabin in the back garden of the property for visiting family and friends to stay in. The chic cabins, costing £40,000 each, have three outside windows, a small door and are clad in spruce shingles and plywood battens. Inside, the luxury pods include a fully functional kitchen, double bed, electric heating, and shower with plenty of optional extras. They are constructed in Estonia before being shipped to the UK. Gordon's representatives declined to comment when approached by Mail Online. Gordon once owned three sprawling properties across the country, but the sale of his Trebetherick home brings him down to his final Cornwall home in Rock. He previously put his Foy home, which was on the site of a former bank, up for sale for £2. 75 million in 2020, the TV personality purchased the Trebetherick holiday home for £4 million in 2016 shortly after starting work on a seafront site in nearby Rock. The house in Rock, which Gordon still owns, was built from scratch on the site of a now demolished five bedroom property, which he bought for £4. 4 million in 2015, at the time, it was the second most expensive sale ever recorded in Cornwall and infuriated local residents when they heard of his plans to demolish the home. The property has six bedrooms, four ensuite bathrooms, two kitchens, three reception rooms, a wine cellar, a swimming pool, tennis court, and almost two. Five acres of land, after an eight-month planning battle in 2016, the chef was given permission to knock down the old house and replace it with his mega-holiday home and a second smaller property, the garden house. Neighbors were up in arms when they found out he was going to demolish the historically impressive 1920s arts and crafts style home and build a modernist villa with white walls and a zinc facade, comprising a gym, pool, cellar and a guest annex. The TV chef, originally from Johnston, Renfrewshire, was granted planning permission by Cornwall Council to replace the 1920s property with a main house and a smaller second property, known as the Garden House. The new house has two kitchens, a swimming pool, a wine cellar and four ensuite bathrooms, around 100 yards from the beach. He was also given the green light to construct a three-bedroom grass-covered boathouse just a stone's throw from water at high tide. Nearly 20 people wrote to Cornwall Council to complain that the garden house, about 25 metres from the shore, would spoil the designated area of outstanding natural beauty and damage other residents' view. At the time, a spokesman for Ramsey tried to defuse the row saying, Gordon, Tanner and the family are very much looking forward to spending time in their new home in Cornwall. They are committed to contributing to, and delighted to be investing in, the future of the Cornish community they will hopefully be a part of for many years. Gordon also angered locals after relocating to his home in Cornwall during the coronavirus crisis despite the government urging Britons not to travel. The star spent time with his wife, Tanner, 47, and three of their five children, Jack, 22, Tilly, 20, and Oscar, in Cornwall during the Covid lockdown. In March, Gordon was slammed for saying he can't stand Cornish people as he reignited his war with neighbours surrounding his holiday home. 
The TV chef was blasted for saying he did not like the locals but absolutely loves the county and radio comments he said were a joke. He was even accused of a hate crime due to Cornish people being recognized as a national minority. Ramsey appeared on Zoe Ball's BBC Radio 2 breakfast show, saying, Trust me, I absolutely love Cornwall, it's just the Cornish I can't stand. When quizzed on the remark by stand-in host Vernon Kay, he refused to apologize and doubled down, adding, I promise I did mean it. Livered locals took to social media to condemn his comments this morning and said he was free to leave whenever he wanted. Joe Pierce, who lives on a farm in Fioc, near Falmouth, said, well the feeling is entirely mutual. She said, no question HES a good cook but his attitude absolutely stinks and I have to grit my teeth watching his cookery programs. She continued, but listening to him talking in that breathy voice just aggravates me. I'm pretty sure that Cornwall and the Cornish wouldn't miss him for a nanosecond if he didnt live or visit here. Another local, Linda Peters, post said, never liked that man, HES so horrible. We don't want him in Cornwall ever. Angie Gillett said, in that case he doesn't qualify to ever be accepted here. How can he live here and not like the Cornish, if he cannot connect to this county and its true roots of Cornish people, then clear off to London as no one will notice or miss him. She added, aggressive in manners, full of himself so no wonder he cannot connect to the locals. Meanwhile the leader of Cornish Nationalist Party Mabian Kerno appeared to accuse Ramsey of a hate crime. Dick Cole, said, I am really disappointed to hear Gordon Ramsay's divisive comments and his lack of respect for the Cornish people. It is shocking he deems it okay to make such a statement that he'd presumably not make about other national or ethnic groups. I sincerely hope he will reflect on his words and apologize. Mr. Cole's comments reference the government's recognition that Cornish people are a national minority like the Irish, Scots or Welsh. Boss of Visit Cornwall, Malcolm Bell, said, I absolutely love chefs but can't stand Gordon Ramsay. Cornwall is a wonderful place with wonderful people. Ramsay's spokesman said, Gordon has made these tongue-in-cheek comments many, many times. He added, always, very clearly, said in good humor and seen that way by the majority. That is all for today news, please make sure to leave your comment and subscribe the channel below for more news update.